Hey, my beautiful Pisces. What's going on, babies? Spirit ancestors, angel guides, you're welcome into the room for a general Pisces read. Here we go, Pisces. Here we go. To my subscribers, welcome back, babies. To those of you who are new to my channel, hello, hello. I am Lee. I will be bringing you the tea, baby. I keep it real. It might get a little raw and reckless up in here. But my intention is never to hurt your feelings, baby. So please take what's for you and what's not for you. You leave it behind. That little hair is getting on my nerves. <laughs> okay, darling. This is a general read. So it may or may not resonate with you please do not apply pressure please do not apply pressure don't be shy please subscribe here we go babies spirit ancestors angel guys messages for our pisces what's the tea for our pisces here we go here we go baby <clears throat> first one now is an interested baby uninterested somebody walking away um forcer forces things on you forces their way in uses force to get what they want okay let's get one more before i start running my mouth and we have a groupie baby we have a groupie pisces we have a groupie or oh, we have groupies uh it's just one but there's four people in the picture so all right so you may not be interested in somebody who's trying to force themselves on you uh you may actually see this person as a groupie as a fan we got travel, we got moving on, uh, bad habits, screenshots, and looking you up, researching you, studying you, and getting information. All right, all right. So, we might have some travels up ahead. Um, it looks like you're moving on. Thank you, next. You may have been dealing with someone who had bad habits, okay, may have had addictions. Um, it seems like you're just uninterested. People, places, and things that uh, may be forced upon you or that you feel like you have to do, okay? Um... You may have someone who likes to manipulate situations to get what they want. Uh, someone may be trying to make you jealous. Like they may be trying to get your attention by flirting with other people or by showing you that they got options or by... Um, What the hell? Somebody's trying to get your attention the wrong way. Okay, so let's move on, baby. Let's move on. Power of love. Let's see what resides in your heart space, baby. Let's see what resides in your heart space, Pisces. Let's see what you're feeling, baby. Let's see what you're feeling. Where's your intention? Your intention in your heart. What is it? Oh my goodness. I think it was unity wanted to fall out. But it kept hitting, so it didn't. So let's see. Here we go. Here we go for our Pisces. You just uninterested? Like you uninterested in, in, in what's in your heart? <laughs> That's too many. Look, it still came out to the bottom. Okay, so this unity card wants to be read. Let's see. 
You understand that love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. Okay, that made me feel like you leave um, prints. Uh, you, you, people don't, they can't just forget you. Okay, people remember you. People remember how you treated them. People remember the love you give. People remember how you made them happy. People remember uh, how they felt in your presence. Okay. So it seems like someone had got a taste of the good side of you, Pisces. The giving side of you. The nurturing side of you. The willing side of you, the empath empathetic side of you. And they must have did something, okay? Because we don't just turn, okay? We don't just turn. We give you our best self first, okay? First we care, first we love, first we show affection, first we are giving. First, we are nurturing, and then somebody does some dumb shit, or they take you for granted, or they figure um, that because you're nice, you're just always going to be nice, and then you flip, and they see another side of you, the uninterested side of you, the cold side of you, okay, that little fish turns into a great white shark, okay? And then Houston has a fucking problem. Uh, so now they're trying to force their self on you by trying to make you jealous, which is not going to work, okay? Um, it's just going to make you distance yourself even more. So, so Pisces, you may just like be like, hold that thought. Oh my goodness. You know, y'all, you guys, you know, I laugh, I joke, I smile, you know what I mean? But some it's just that I am also a Pisces. I know how we do. I can relate to how we do. It doesn't mean that I'm relating to the met to the reading. Okay, this is a general reading. I do my readings for you guys. I don't take them personally. But I am human. I am a Pisces and I have personal experiences. So therefore, please don't take offense when something crazy jumps into my head and I laugh in my own little world. Okay, because the reason why I was, you know, uh, is because I know, I know how it is when you try to be nice and when you try to be cool and you try to be caring and you try to be understanding and these people just, they just don't get it and then they lose you, you know, and then they be like, but, 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 there is no but, okay, there is no but, there is no but, Pisces, if they couldn't appreciate you the first time around. Nine out of ten, you're going to give them another try, another chance, okay? If they don't appreciate you by the third time, baby, then catch the fucking hint. This person's just not going to get it, okay? They're not going to get it. Transformation. You use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. Acceptance. You are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. So it's time to live, baby. It's time to move forward. It's time to breathe life back into your world. Okay, baby. Let whoever do whatever. Let them think whatever. 
and do you. If you're uninterested, don't let them force their self back in. Moving on to the Naughty Oracle for our Pisces. Naughty Oracle for our Pisces. Spirit Ancestors, Angel Guides, Messages for our Pisces. Can we get some messages for this read? Spirit Ancestors, Angel Guides. Thank you. Somebody thirsty, baby. Somebody thirsty, find your inner peace, no drama llama. Use your own voice and stop getting distracted. Okay? No drama llama. Okay, so when this person approach you, running their mouth, you may need to meditate. Okay. You may need to meditate because you might just grab this motherfucker by the neck. Okay, it's time to raise your vibrations, baby. Okay. Some people come into your life for a lesson. Because under there it said earth lesson. Where is it? Earth lesson. Okay, so this person may have come in to teach you something. Uh, my most recent lesson was <laughs> that I need to stretch. I need to stretch. I need to uh, uh, unwind. Okay, I was feeling a little stuck. I was, you know, I was, I was, I was sitting in grief, to be honest, and I wasn't being very active. And um, And I tried. I, 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 I was. I don't know what the hell I was trying to do. I think I was trying to do a dance or something. And I felt stuck. I felt like I couldn't open. You know, like like I couldn't like like I couldn't get all the way down on my knees. I couldn't like like I just couldn't like I was stuck. And so. I had to start doing some exercise, baby. I had to start doing some yoga. Started doing some yoga, feeling a little better, you know. My knees is, is don't have the little cricky cricky thing right now. Uh, I'm I am sore as shit. I did like hurt myself. I think I overdid it somehow. But um, but that was the lesson. The lesson was that I needed to get active. So. Now I am currently trying to get active, trying to get myself together, boo-boo, and, you know, rising up from, from a situation that would have me down and out, okay? So the point of me saying that is that learn the lesson. There's a lesson. There's always a lesson, okay? There's always a lesson. If it doesn't go right, take what you learn from the situation and push forward, okay? When you push forward, take the lesson with you, okay? Don't just stop doing whatever it is that you came to the conclusion that you needed to do for yourself because the situation ended. No, continue to strive forward. Take the lesson with you. Apply it to your life going forward, okay, lovely? Okay, let's go, let's go into the tarot for our Pisces. Into the tarot for our Pisces. Mm -hmm. We got the hangman, baby. Okay, so, pause, baby. Taking a pause, baby. Okay. Looking at things differently, looking at the things from a different perspective, um, removing yourself in the situation to get some kind of clarity on whatever it is that you're not seeing clearly, baby. Okay, we got the hangman, we got the nine of cups. So, so for some of you, you may uh, feel... You're, you may be single, you may be accomplished 
in many different um, areas of your life. Um, you're satisfied with your outcomes, with how you handle yourself, with um, the way you carry yourself. Okay. Pisces, moving right on for our Pisces. Pisces, please hit that like button. Please subscribe, baby. Thank you so much. It doesn't cost you anything, and I really appreciate you guys. Our channel has been growing. The algorithm is moving. We're getting it done, baby. We're getting it done. So we have a page of swords. So someone is stalking you. We've seen it over there, right? Someone is stalking you. Someone may be trying to get information on you. Uh, Spirit is saying they're trying to get information on you to use against you somehow. Um, and that's what this page of swords is. Someone is watching you. Someone is trying to get information on you. Okay, um, but you seem to be mysterious. Like, they don't know. They don't know how to handle you, or they don't know, they don't have all the pieces of your puzzle. Okay, baby. They, they can't even see you. Like, they like they can see you. Like, they, they looking for you. They probably stalk your social media, you know. If you have a platform, they probably watch your platform. Uh, but it's all from a distance. Okay, they they haven't they haven't seen you in person. I don't I don't think they've seen you in person. Okay, I think this is all behind the scenes. Uh, Spirit says they can't reach you. They haven't been able to reach you. So, so you may be blind to the facts, baby, or you just don't know. You don't know that this person is watching you or that this person is asking questions about you or that this person um, that's way too many, baby, way too many. Or you may not want to, like, face the truth or recognize the truth. You may just not be interested, okay? You may just be sitting there like, I don't even care. It feels like you don't even care. It feels like you don't even care um, that somebody's hurt. Or you may be hurt. You may be healing. Okay, so you may be healing. You may actually need to confront this person. Okay, this person may actually come and try to force their way into your life or into your home or into your job or into force themselves. Okay, and you will have to confront this person. And when you confront this person, you need to stand your ground. Okay, and use your voice. Speak your mind. Okay, tell them the truth. If you're uninterested and you don't want nothing to do with them or whatever, then you need to just say it. Okay, baby, if, if it's because you're working on yourself, okay, and you don't have time for people, places, and things that bring drama into your life, then you need to just say it. If somebody is thirsty, okay, and it's coming into your life as a distraction, then maybe you need to see that as an as a distraction okay because this person uh this person goes about things in a um in a manipulative 
way. Okay, so you may need to continue to work on yourself. Working on, yep, look, we got the Nine of Cups and now we got the Nine of Pentacles. Working on yourself is where it's at, baby. Self-love, understanding that you have accomplished whatever it is that you have accomplished in your life that has allowed for you to be um, proud of yourself, proud of your accomplishments, okay? And also being able to, for your money to be right. Okay, we got the eight pentacles and then we got the nine of pentacles, which is growth. Once you stand your ground with this person, you will be able to work, focus on your work and that will allow you to grow. Self-love, baby. Okay, self-realization is going to lead you to independence, wealth. Emotional fulfillment. Okay, we don't have the 10 here because it feels like I'm speaking to a single Pisces. We got the King of Swords on the bottom. He look like he waiting. He look like he waiting. He probably the one watching. Because we got the Page of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Three of Swords. Which is like one, two, three. Okay, and we then we got eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles, and the queen of pentacles. CCC. Yeah. So make sure that you stand your ground. Okay. This person may not be seeing your value, but you know your value. You know your worth. Okay. And if you're questioning your worth, then you need to open up your heart, your mind, your eyes. And understand, okay, that you have taken all the steps it is for you to be uh, on the right track in your life, okay? So, don't let somebody come in and distract you from the things that are helping you to grow. Because there's all growth here on the bottom. On the bottom of the deck, we got... The two of pentacles okay so uh what decisions in your life are you ready to make two of pentacles two of wands it's time to take action but it's this is personal personal achievement personal movement personal success personal fulfillment personal okay self-love Okay, making a decision that will change your life, baby. Although you do not see the, like, you don't know. You don't know. Okay, something is being hidden. It's probably the outcome. You're never going to know the outcome. <coughs> All you can do is work towards it. Okay, and then we have the Eight of Cups. So, what do you need to walk away from that has you grieving? Worrying about spilt milk. Okay. Yes. Needing to end that shit. Okay. So this, this makes me feel like it's somebody that comes in and out. Somebody comes in and out. Um, to distract you. Okay. Because it's not like they coming in to put a smile on your face. I don't see nobody smiling. Um, it's not like they're coming in to help you grow because if they were, it would have been the 10 of cups and not the nine. Okay. Um, you're, you, you may feel like this person is sketchy. Okay. You may feel like this person, uh, plays mind games. Um, like this person ain't all that they seem. Um, this person is persistent though, so this person may keep, keep, 
keep coming back. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Even if you're uninterested, they still try. Okay? They still try. And we got strength on top of the hangman. Mm-hmm. Oh, she don't even got a lion. She got a, a, a the tiger. Oh, yeah, because these cards is all female, right? No. All right. All right, so have confidence. Have confidence in yourself that you can do it. Okay, you have the inner confidence. You have the power. Okay, so be brave. Be bold. Okay, be brave. Be bold, baby. Let's see, let's see. For our Pisces, Pisces, please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please hit the notification bell. Please push all so that you can be notified. Lovely. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Uh, we had the Five of Pentacles, okay? So you may have to be strong because there's some type of lack. There's some type of lack. Um, for some of you, you may lose a job, lose a relationship. For some of you, you may be feeling isolated from a group. Left out in the cold. Or you may decide to do this to someone. And we have the sun. And they whipple wobble, so we're not taking those. We're going to let them go back in like they did. Let's see. So we have the sun. Which is the happiest card in the deck. Uh, we had the Six of Cups. We got the Knight of Cups. And we got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So. Oh, let's see what signs we got out here. We got uh, Queen of Pentacles. Feminine. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Earth sign. Yeah. Uh, we have... Um, The Hangman, Pisces. Then we have Strength, Leo. The Sun is also Leo, I believe. The Sun is Leo and Strength is Leo. Yes, so we have a double, double confirmation for Leo. We have a Six of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so releasing this person, letting this person go, letting them go, okay, is it's going to open up a new, this person was actually trying to make you feel, um, this person was trying to make you feel like you wasn't good enough. Mm -hmm. This person was trying to devalue you with their actions. So letting them go is going to give you a new... Um, Like a new lease on life, like new confidence, like, like, um, like it's going to make you feel strong. It's going to make you happy. Okay. It's going to make you happy. Then we have the six of cups, which is nostalgia. It's missing somebody. So somebody is missing you, baby. 
Okay, somebody miss you and maybe an ex. Um, so it can be a past life, like uh, someone you have history with. Okay, it could be somebody you grew up with. It can be somebody you had a relationship with. It can be someone that you should you went to school with, someone you worked with before. Um, somebody miss you, baby. Okay, somebody miss you. And then we have a Knight of Cups in the center, which is offering a, a token of appreciation, a uh, small gesture in love, baby. Someone who may be charming, graceful. Uh, diplomatic, maybe moving forward, baby, somebody moving forward, baby, and then we got the will of, fur of fortune, which for me is divine timing, at the right time, at the right place, baby, around the right people, baby, okay, all right, all right. The right place, right time, right people. Okay, so you may be... Oh, that's way too many. I thought that was less. Um, uh, So it's like like a strike of... Like a, a stroke of, of luck. I don't know why I'm tongue twisted, but I am. Okay, I'm trying to bypass it, but I am. I'm tongue twisted. Okay, so... I don't know if someone don't know how to talk to you. Um, or if it's that someone wants to talk to you but doesn't know how to reach out to you. Uh, I don't think they, they've been able to reach you. I think someone has been trying but they're not able to reach you somehow. Like you made yourself unavailable. Unavailable. Oh, yeah. Because you're the empress. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, it's saying, lay down the burdens, baby. Okay? Lay down the burdens. What's not for you, it's not for you. Okay? Don't carry the baggage into the new. Okay, put that shit down. Leave that shit behind. Okay, leave it out. Leave it wherever it's at. Okay, leave it wherever it's at. And move forward. Move forward with confidence that you can move forward. That you can be happy without whoever. That, uh, that uh, whatever... They did to make you feel less than. If they disrespected you. If they belittled you. If they spoke to you um, harshly. If they try to make you out to be a groupie. If they um, lied on you. Okay. Whatever they did. They did. Does not reflect on you. It reflects on the person that they are. It reflects on them. It goes back to them. Okay? If they had all that time and energy to, to try to make you feel less than, it's because you they're less than. Okay? So, there's an empress. For some of you, you may be pregnant. Okay. Congratulations. God bless. Uh, for others of you who are not pregnant, don't plan to be pregnant, can't get pregnant, however that situation may be, you may be birthing new ideas, you may be creating some type of business, you may decide that you just want to create a whole new life for yourself, okay, which is what it really feels like. Uh, the Divine Feminine Baby. So you may be letting off um, it's like 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 a sensual beauty, baby. Okay, like nurturing, like loving, like able to love, able to give and receive love. 
okay like um she makes me feel ready she makes me feel ready for whatever it is that's to come what's to come offer and stability offer of stability and offer of emotional fulfillment okay clarity okay someone wants to work with you someone wants to collaborate all right and then we have something that happens suddenly the king of swords this person that drop you know the person with the drama with the bullshit with the uh the forcer or however whatever whoever's thirsty maybe an air sign gemini libra aquarius um uh masculine or feminine um fire sign sagittarius leo aries okay and it's time to walk away from that shit Okay, so it may be more than just one person trying to stunt your growth. They're not going to be able to, baby. They're not going to be able to. So you need, just need to continue to realize who you really are. Continue to strive toward what it is that you want. Okay, put your best foot forward. Show up. Always, always, always with good intention. Okay, forward and up, baby. Okay, forward and up. These people are going to continue to try you. They, um, if they can't get to you um, in the 3D, they definitely lurking on social media. They definitely lurking on the internet. They definitely watch you. They definitely, definitely, definitely all in your business. The business they can get to, baby. Okay? They ask people. Um, they stalk you. They make the shit up as they go along. And all the while, you may be uninterested. So, we're moving on into the light seers for our Pisces. Then we'll get a message. We got the seven of pentacles so be patient okay you will be able to see growth okay you will be able to harvest the fruits of your labor but you need to be patient you need to keep moving forward you need to uh keep believing in yourself and having faith that you can do it with or without anyone okay we got the seven of pentacles. We got the seven of cups. So you may be daydreaming about the life that you want. You may be trying to manifest the life that you want. Okay, putting in the work. Okay, baby, you putting in the work. Okay, yes. Um, so you do have options. You do have... Um, all the options ain't good options. This one fell. All the options ain't good options, but uh, use discernment, baby. Okay? Use discernment. Be smart about your next moves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, we got the nine of swords in reverse. We got the devil in reverse in the center of the reading. We have justice in reverse. We have the nine of pentacles, the knight of pentacles, and we have the hermit, and we'll get one more. The fool. Towards the queen of pentacles, the emperor being successful. Holding back, using intuition, letting that shit go so that you can be happy with your two of cups. Okay, so. Someone is toxic. 
in the middle of your energy, someone is toxic. Okay, it may be the um, the way you moving, it may be the way you thinking, it may be you obsessing over the situation. How are you gonna do it? How are you gonna move forward? What are you gonna do? Okay, we got karma. Okay, we have karma. So this really makes me feel like it's the person. Somebody stressing, somebody has anxiety, somebody um, is obsessed with you. Karma is whipping their ass, okay? Because there's an offer. There's an offer towards someone who has been in hermit mood. Someone who has been put away. So they put their self away. They remove their self from the situation. They in their own little world. They la la la. Waiting to take the risk, ready to start all over um, towards a fresh, clean slate. Okay, lovelies. So let's go over here in the dark and see what the oracles have to say. What messages do the oracles have for our Pisces? Messages for our Pisces from the oracles. I got to hurry up because it's already on 41. I... I, I think it's because I whipped out another deck. And I've been doing the three again. And it takes me longer. So I'm going to have to uh, reevaluate and do it differently. I had to change my cards up. So, Spirit Ancestors, Angel Guides, Messages for Pisces. Talking. Interested. Conversing more. A weighted message arrives. Text, call, email. Hoovering. Okay. Healthy choices. Moving forward. This is moving forward. Healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, and being happier. Okay, so you may have someone that you start talking to, you start messaging with. Ooh, we got little kisses and stuff. Ooh. Uh, cassette. Replaying events over and over and over in your head. Outdating thinking. Conditioning. Don't stay stuck, baby. It's time to move forward. Okay, you got a clean slate. It's time to move forward. Uh, someone is looking at your pictures. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, and wants to make new memories. And then we got kisses. Unconditional loving, giving, and receiving affection and falling in love. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Somebody want to love you, baby. Somebody want to love you, baby. Cupid's arrow. Oh, Pisces, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting, hesitation. Pisces, don't be hesitating. Okay, everybody ain't the same, everybody's not going to act the same, give yourself a chance, give someone else a chance. Okay, give someone else a chance. We have ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Boat over there, you got travel, receiving what you need, progressing, arriving, moving on, closure, coffee cup, meeting and conversing, serving the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship, self indulgement, focus on self, self worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self appreciation. And then we got wedding rings, baby, union, wedding, marry, so connection, eternal love, everlasting. Promise. Oh, oh, that shit just went all the way right. <laughs> that shit went all the way right when you became uninterested in people that are trying to get your attention for all the wrong reasons and you started focusing on yourself and you start working on yourself and start pushing towards the dreams and your goals and your aspirations for yourself. Okay. 
all of a sudden karma starts knock knock knocking on other people's doors for not appreciating you when they should have okay so it is what it is baby let's see what the romance angels got for our pisces Romance Angels for our Pisces. Here we go, Pisces. Let's see, let's see, baby. Romance Angels for our Pisces. Pisces, it is safe for you to love, baby. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth experiencing. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Ay, ay, ay. Mira, mira, mira. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And wedding again. Oh, my goodness, baby. This situation involves marriage. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Ooh, look at that. How beautiful is that? Stay optimistic about your love life, baby. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, honey. Okay. Look at you. Look at you. Self-love. Focusing on yourself. Not looking for nobody. Not focusing on nobody. Right? It said no drama llama, right? Sitting in your inner peace. Okay? You may be in hermit mode. I mean, you still got to work. You still got to wake up. You still got to move. You still got to get it together, boo-boo. But not... You're not making no waves. Okay? Not making no waves. And all of a sudden, loves comes knocking. What's up, Pisces? Uh... I'm sorry, I just kept going. Ask your question, Pisces. I'll give you a moment. I soak my arms in ice so it feels a little better. Actually, it feels a lot better than it did in the past two days. But it still hurts when I twist it a certain way. But thank God that it's starting to feel better because I didn't know what I was going to do. What am I going to do without my wings? Don't cut my wings. Please don't cut my wings. <laughs> I can't fly without my wings. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Answering questions for our Pisces angel guides. Remain positive, baby. Remain positive. Don't let nobody steal your shine, baby. Look off. Look at that. Don't let nobody steal your shine, baby. Mm -mm. Don't let them make you feel like you less than. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. They trying to uh, project their misery, their misery unto you. Okay? Their insecurities unto you. Their whatever they got going on, they trying to... Project that shit onto you. Nah, not at all. Uh, get more information. Forgiveness. And on the bottom of the deck, we got within the next few weeks. Okay, so within the next few weeks means you might have a, a, a Valentine's boo. Ooh. 11 days. You got 11 days. <laughs> 11? No, not even. It's uh, nine, nine days. Oh, well, damn. Let's see, let's see, baby. It might happen. You never know. Uh, fortune cookie for our Pisces. Fortune cookie for our Pisces. Planning, baby. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. Uh, commitment. 
A commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. Let's get one more. For our Pisces. Positive work outcomes. Consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. And on the bottom of the deck, you have romance. Love is set to sizzle, baby. The chance for romance is high for those seeking connections. And that was your tea, baby. Smooches.